Hello, I'm Dominic Giratano, and you've tuned in to an electrictv.net feature story powered by the National Electrical Contractors Association and their partners in labor, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Our mission is to prove that the NECA IBEW team is the right choice for your next construction project. And here's yet another reason why. Major universities, global insurance firms, and national labs are relying on the NECA IBEW team to help find ways to cut consumption in small or medium-sized buildings up to 50% by 2030. In a prior ETV story, we took you to the Philadelphia Navy Yard, to the Gridstar Center, where research and best practices are the results of energy experimentation, giving building owners real-world results in ways to cut consumption through retrofitting. Yeah, yeah, I know, we'd all be millionaires if we had a nickel for every time we heard somebody sell the notion of retrofitting your building and save money. But it looks like as if it's actually happening at a second building at the Philadelphia Navy Yard, the Center for Building Energy Science. According to research done by the CBEI, or the Consortium for Building Energy Innovation, headquartered at the Navy Yard, 95% of commercial buildings in the U.S. are small or medium-sized. If you live, work, or own in this heavy majority, then listen up. In 2014, total worldwide revenue for energy management systems in buildings of this size should be in the neighborhood of about $275 million. But it's expected to explode to more than $1.3 billion by 2022. If you're wondering how in the next eight years energy management is supposed to expand by nearly 500%, that's where the CBEI comes in. For building owners, if you look at integrated systems, so rather than just changing the HVAC or just changing the windows or just changing the lighting, um, actually taking all these systems and making sure that they're all working together to create the greatest energy efficiency for the building. Following the seeing is believing proverb, the CBEI will soon open this new facility, the Center for Building Energy Science, and in one fell swoop, prove that retrofitting your building can save real cold hard cash. When we move in, we're going to have um, a lot of these technologies that are state of the shelf, and we're going to also have a lot of sensors so that we can be measuring um, the occupancy, how we as tenants are using the building, and then really get all of that data and roll it together to demonstrate how these technologies work together in an integrated way. At 38,000 square feet, it's a complete advanced energy retrofit, from lighting to mechanical, from controls on the inside, the controls on the outside. It's projected to save nearly 43% on energy and nearly 38% on cost when completed. And while they're useful, renderings and projections aren't enough to get an integrated energy management system like this up and running. That's where the NECA IBEW team comes in. It's very important to have um, skilled contractors who really know what they're doing. So partnering with the NECA IBEW team is allowing CBEI to really make sure that we're getting the best possible data and that we're able to get that out to our stakeholders. This actually allows us to put our contractors in a position to be ahead of the curve when tech, as technology evolves. Drive the bus, not just follow it. This building over here, was a, the renovation was an existing building from 1942. It was actually an indoor pool, a bowling alley, and a basketball court. That's going to become offices and workrooms now. The entire floor slab was removed, and all new pathways were put in under the floors, stubbing up into the walls. This building over here is an entirely brand new building. That was just a grass field. Uh, a little bit different of a structure. It's all steel, no concrete, and more ceilings, less exposed work. Um, even the electrical slightly different, uh, the lighting control systems in both buildings being different. This building when it's done will have photovoltaic on the roof with a grass roof, whereas this one doesn't have either of those. As an organization, what we strive to do is put our members in a place to succeed. We are thrilled uh, to have the relationship we do with the Navy Yard. And what we've been able to do, frankly, is put out our message, which is that we like to believe that we are the best electrical contractors, now we call ourselves energy contractors of course, 
but we also happen to employ the best electricians. They both have their challenges, uh, new construction and uh, renovation. Renovations uh, can sometimes be a little more challenging because you have to work around existing structures and things like that, whereas a new building, you can pretty much do what you got to do. You can get any walls or anything like that. With existing structures, it, it becomes a little more complicated. We have to kind of use our uh, ingenuity and uh, try to make it work so that they get what they're looking for and we do it the right way and the safe way. We're going to make sure that the energy is used properly and that the building owner not only makes money on the savings, but he's going to work and integrate all these technologies together so that he will be able to buy, sell, distribute, and generate power as he sees fit. Unlike some things in life, this area of Philadelphia being built out in large part due to the NECA IBEW team is as good as advertised. For more information about the CBEI, we'll just head on over to cbei.psu.edu. And if you happen to miss part one of this mini-series on the Gridstar Center and the Philadelphia Navy Yard, well, just search our archives at electrictv.net or head on over to our YouTube channel. That's it for this edition. I'm Dominic Geritano, and we'll see you next time.